Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video on the Pager YouTube channel. If you are not subscribed already, then please consider smashing that subscribe button down below. It really helps me out, and we are trying to hit 5K by Magic Brown, but we need to talk about the absolute bombshell that was dropped yesterday. Jack One is going to be testing his value in free agency throughout 2023 after declining his near million dollar player option for the Canberra Raiders in 2024. So we're going to be talking about that all today and let's get straight into the teams that have been rumored and that I think could use Jackie Boy One. Let's kick things off talking about his current team, the Canberra Raiders. Now, I'm sure the Canberra Raiders board, they were shocked when they heard, like the rest of us, that one declined his player option for 2024, considering it is rumored to be around $1 million in saying that. I do think that Jack Whiten will stay with the Canberra Raiders. When you think of Whiten, he is the superstar of that team. He is a Canberra Raiders player. You think of him as a boy who is destined to play for the Green Machine. He's been there his whole career. He's played in the grand final. He's won a Clive Churchill. Heck, he's won a Dally M. I know Joseph Tarpanay, he could argue, is the best player on the Raiders. But Jack Whiten, he is the superstar. He is the main man. It is his rugby league team. So not only would it be an absolute travesty if the Raiders were to lose White as a business decision, but it would also suck to lose who is the face of that team, who is their number one superstar. Personally, I do think White will re-sign with the Raiders. I think he might just try and gauge a bit more cash and maybe just see where it is. Maybe try and ink a long-term deal. Like I said, that 2024 contract is worth a million dollars, but then he's off for 2025. Maybe he doesn't have a great year next year and then the contract isn't worth as much as it could be. So I do think he decides to re-sign with the Raiders. He'll just earn a longer-term deal and it makes sense for both parties. The Raiders, they should be throwing the book at him. Obviously, the cap's gone up. The million-dollar player isn't worth that it once was. Even saying that, I reckon most people would argue that one is worth a million dollars. Is that as a 5'8"? Who knows? But with Xavier Savage and Fogarty, you want his hands on the ball as much as possible. Heck, you could even throw White in Jersey 13. But the Raiders, they have enough forwards. They need their number one half. And Jack White has been superb since he made the switch from fullback. And I definitely think he will be a Canberra Raider for the foreseeable future. But it'd be boring just to sit here and say I think he re-signs with the Raiders. So let's talk about the team that he has been rumored to the most. And that, of course, is the Dolphins. No surprises here. The Dolphins still trying to find their first ever marquee signing. While we have seen the rise of Marshall King and the Hammer, just to name some of the players who are playing above their weight for the Dolphins, they're still lacking that big name that's going to draw people to the club on the name alone, and Jack White, being the Canberra Raiders poster boy, being the Dally M player, and being an origin star for New South Wales, and what has been a pretty successful last half a decade for the boys in blue, I think Jack White could be that superstar. The Dolphins have plenty of cash to throw around, and if there's any team I'm gonna be talking about today that has the money to throw big at Jackie Boy White, it is the Dolphins. They seem insistent on a number six. I think they think their number seven plan is solved long term. They've got Isaiah Katoa, who's going to be there long term. And Sean O'Sullivan, despite being injured for the moment, can hold that role for the next few years. I don't think Wine's going to be their fullback. The Hammer looks like he is definitely going to be there long term. And of course, they probably don't want someone on such big coin out in the center. So I definitely think that there is a chance that one ends up at the Dolphins. Like I said, it's been the number one team he has been linked to, and it's the main reason why all these articles are coming out. They're gonna throw big. They'll probably have the biggest offer of any team on this list. I definitely think outside of the Raiders, this is the most likely option for Whiten. It's gonna get him the biggest contract, and you could argue that with Wayne Bennett and some younger stars coming through, plus all that cap room, that they're just in good as a position to compete over the next few years as the Canberra Raiders. 
Let's move on to teams that really haven't been linked to White, but I think could need him. And this one's boring, but the West Tigers. They should be desperate to go for Jack White. Like I said before, the Dolphins are probably likely to throw the biggest offer at Jackie Boy. But I think the Tigers have potentially even more money to throw at him. They just need a superstar. They need a player. They need to rebuild this roster. Luke Brooks is off contract. There is so much room there. They've only re-signed Dewey on a one-year contract. Dane Lowry is off contract as well. Whether you throw him at 13, whether you throw him at fullback or in the halves, Jack White would be an improvement and he'd easily become the best player on the Tigers alongside Appy Corusau. So this is one I could definitely see happening, but knowing the West Tigers, I think they're just going to re-sign Luke Brooks for another 10 years. Now this one is sort of one that I haven't really thought too much about, but I thought I'd chuck in the video, and that is the New Zealand Warriors. The Warriors have a bit of a hard situation. We're not sure of at the moment. They've had a terrific start to 2023. But we don't know what their future halves are going to be. Tamari Munn, he looks home in the number six jersey, but he could easily be in and out of the side. Besides Charles Hill Clockstat at number one, there is plenty of room in this Warriors outfit, and I think Jack won. It is as a 13 or as a 5'8, I feel like he could add a lot to this roster. He'd be the perfect complement for Sean Johnson, or if they decide to throw a Luke Metcalf or Ronald Volkman at halfback, having a big number six, an established number six, a Dalian winning number six, like Jack One, outside a young halfback, they want to buy it for the future. I think he could definitely be worth a million dollars. I don't think it will happen, but I could definitely see the Warriors making a play. And, you know, there's that thing about him moving to New Zealand. Well, he's currently in Canberra, so I think even New Zealand would be an improvement. Now, the final team I want to talk about, and it is a true premiership contender. Jack White is 30 years old, and all these teams on the list, you can probably argue they're not looking at a premiership for some time now. So if he is declining this player option to go out there and try and win a comp, then the Cronulla Sharks may be the perfect destination. They've got arguably the best halfback in the competition at the moment. Nico Hines has had an incredible first year and first game of 2023 in a position he never even played growing up. His first year starting as a full-time player, he won the Dally M. So if I'm Jack One and I'm looking at who I want to be my half's partner, then he may have just found the perfect number seven to play alongside him. They could be arguably the best half combination in the competition. Obviously, they've got Matt Moore in there at the moment, and he has been incredible after some very, very injury riddled years. And they probably don't have the cap room as some of these other teams, but like I said, if Jack Wine wants to go and he wants to win a premiership, then the Cronulla Sharks may just be his best option. Imagine a spine of Kennedy, Hines, Braley, and Jack Wine in the number six. It might be the best in the competition, especially when Kennedy and Braley are only going to get better, and the same with Nico Hines, plus he has all these strike weapons outside of him, he'll have Ramian, he'll have Katoa, he'll have Mulatalo, he'll have Teague, Wilton, or Britton, Nakora, this Sharks team, they could just be missing that running number six, that big number six, to take him to a whole new level, and if they can snag Jack Whiten, then we may just be looking at the next premiership winning side, but like I said, guys, outside of the Dolphins and the Raiders, there's really been nothing. So this is just off the top of my head. But let me know in that comment section below, where do you think Jack One ends up in 2024? And of course, if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're on the road to 5K. And I'll see you in the next one. And I got this soul.